draw a helix of one convolution, which is also known as revolution, upon a cylinder. The given data is 80 mm pitch, 50 mm diameter of a cylinder. So two data has been given to us. This vertical height, which is 80 mm, and the diameter of this circle is 50 mm, which is the base of 50 mm. The rectangle is 50 by 80. But we will try to understand what is the meaning of pitch. So this is screw thread. Okay. Now you can see over here. This is known as the thread. So the distance between two consecutive thread means the one thread after the another thread means adjacent thread. ये दोनों थ्रेड के बीच का डिस्टेंस जो है इसी को हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं पिच द डेफिनेशन ऑफ पिच इज दैट इट इज अ डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू कंजिक्यूटिव थ्रेड यू कैन सी ओवर ये अपना थ्रेड है दिस इज अ थ्रेड नाउ यू कैन सी ओवर ईयर फ्रॉम हियर टू फ्रॉम हियर वट एवर द डिस्टेंस इज दैट इज नोन एज द पिच दिस इज द एंगल द बॉटम वन इज नोन एज द रूट अपर वन इज नोन एज द क्रेस आई थिंक यू हैव अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पिच नाउ आई हैव नोटेड ओवर ईयर द एक्सेल एडवांस during one complete revolution is called the pitch of the helix now you can understand that by one example okay L let us try to uh, understand this pitch by nut and bolt okay we are having the bolt we are having the nut so in one revolution means in 360 degree if the nut is being rotated by 360 degree means if the nut is completing one revolution so nut will be moving some distance on the upper side on the on lower side okay depends on the rotation of nut clockwise or anti clockwise so in one rotation the nut will cover some axial distance the nut will cover some axial distance and that axial distance covered by nut in one revolution that is also known as pitch and when we open that particular thread of one complete revolution okay so that is known as lead so how to draw the helix the helix curve will look like when we will open that particular thread of one complete revolution so that will look like this now how to draw or how to proceed the helix okay so these are the again i have listed down these steps what are the steps you uh, you have to follow for drawing the helix now first we will draw a circle draw a circle of 50 mm diameter that has been given to us then we will make this rectangle of 80 by 50 mm the horizontal we can directly project it and the vertical the height is 80 mm we will divide the circle in eight equal part and we will give the naming 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the last one is p we will project all those points in the vertical direction 1 to 7 we will from 1 to 7 we will, uh, we will draw a vertical line from 2 to 6 we will draw a vertical line 3 to 5 we will draw the vertical line definitely if we the, uh, the line will pass through 0.5 and 3 on the uh, on the same line we will divide this vertical line in eight equal part this line this vertical line 80 mm ka line 10 10 mm or 1 1 cm okay we can directly take and we can divide this vertical line in eight equal part and draw the horizontal line okay and give the naming 1 2 3 4 5 6 now wherever the horizontal line from one and the vertical line from one intersects mark that point okay horizontal from two vertical from two okay wherever it intersects mark horizontal from three vertical from point number three mark p3 similarly p4 p5 p6 p7 now we can give the naming p1 p2 p3 5 5 intersecting horizontal from six vertical from six horizontal from seven vertical from seven now we will join all these points with the help of french curve so half curve in the continuous continuous line but another half will be in the form of dotted line or hidden line now why dotted line or hidden line tumhare samne agar bolt hai and if you are seeing from the front side any bolt okay so we are, we are talking about the complete revolution so front thread of 180 degree wo apne ko dikhega but piche ka 180 degree ka thread we can't see as or no so the area the surface the or any part which we can't see from any angle so that is being uh, shown by hidden line so this is how we draw the helix okay i think it's very simple first you have to draw the circle divide in eight equal part the distance between uh, circle and rectangle this vertical distance is 10 mm you can take 15 mm draw a horizontal line okay project all the points on this horizontal line 
the vertical height of this rectangle is 80 mm the project all the points from from the circle in the vertical direction divide this vertical line in eight equal parts in how many parts the circle has been divided in the in the same way you have to divide this vertical line in that much part horizontal from point number one vertical from point number one wherever intersects that gives the p1 point number one horizontal from two vertical from two that gives the p2 similarly p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 up to p8 join all the points with the help of french curve the half curve will be the continuous line and the half curve will be the hidden line so this is how we draw the helix uh, 